So naturally I have gone out and bought my son a whole load of new baby clothes which is kind of becoming a little bit of a habit. So if you want to see everything that I've been picking up for my little baby boy then keep on watching and I will show you what is in this huge package. <laughs> YouTube channel so if you are new here I post all about motherhood um, and a couple of hauls thrown in as well um, and I try and upload twice a week so I would love it if you could come and join me over here on this channel I'm so sorry about the state of my background this morning guys Joel is currently having a nap um, I don't want to go downstairs into the lounge to film this because I'm purely just being lazy so I'm sat in the spare room we've got a pile of stuff behind us that needs to go up in the loft tomorrow when Steve's off work um, and yeah what can I say my house is just a mess I haven't even had time to do my hair this morning and we have a baby sensory class in half an hour. So let's crack on and get this filmed before little man wakes up and our sensory class starts. Okay, so I think all of this lot came to about 75, 80 pounds, which actually for the amount of stuff that we've got, I actually think is really good value. So where do we even begin? So just to let you guys know, I actually picked up all of this stuff in a couple of the sizes of nine to 12 months but most of the sizes are 12 to 18 months. Now he's only six months old at the moment, but I like to be prepared and plan ahead. He's actually still in three to six month clothes um, at the moment because he's not like a massive baby. He's just quite tall. Um, so he's still in his three to six month clothes at the moment, but I'm sure, I mean, his first birthday is like approaching far too quickly. I know it's still six months away, but I know that's just gonna fly. And I'd rather have stuff in that we need. I like to buy little bits every month, and then we just know that we've got everything that we need and it's all in his drawers. So yeah, like I said, most of this stuff is 12 to 18 months. So I will show you what I have picked up. Okay, so the first thing I picked up was this really cute little um, khaki green yeah khaki green color and it's a little um tracksuit and it's got dinosaurs on it um so i love him in this color i mean if they'd done this in a camo print i would have literally been all over it he has got like a camo onesie at the moment that i absolutely love him in he looks so cool um but yeah this has got little dinosaurs on it so i picked this one up this was seven pounds and like i said this is in 12 to 18 months it actually looks massive like i can't even imagine him ever being this big but I know I know it's gonna happen so sad times sad times okay so the next thing I picked up was this really cute little dungaree set so just to let you guys know I when he was very little I loved dressing him in really cute little like knitted outfits little dungaree sets little sleep suits things like that now he's six months and he's getting a little bit older I like to dress him quite like cool if you know what I mean so he's always wearing like track suits and trainers or like skinny jeans and a little jacket with some trainers and he wears a lot of bobble hats as well so I really like him to look like a little dude um but I just thought this was too cute not to buy um so this is just such a classic little outfit this was 10 pounds so it was a little bit more than the others um but it almost looks like a knitted effect and I absolutely love this colour and the little button detail on the front and then it's obviously got the long sleeve top underneath and then that's the back so I just thought this was so cute. They only had this left in, and the biggest size they had this left in was nine to 12 months. So I had to pick it up in that, but that's fine because um, he didn't really have many clothes past the nine month mark anyway. So we need this anyway in that size. Um, so yeah, I just thought that was really, really lovely. And I just wish that they bought one out with like a beige or oatmeal color dungaree because I would literally be all over that for him. Even though I like to dress him quite cool now, um, I also love the little like Spanish type outfits that you can get for baby boys. You know, the ones with the little collar and the little um, like dungaree romper, the long socks. So I feel like this summer, especially when we go on holiday in August, he is gonna wear so many of those and he's probably gonna hate me when he's older, but I just think that classic, um, sort of old fashioned look on baby boys is so gorgeous. So yeah, he's also got like a whole load of that kind of stuff in his wardrobe as well. I thought this kind of tied in with in a way. So yeah, I just thought that was really, really cute and I had to get it for 10 pounds. Okay, so the next set I picked up was this. This is actually selling out really fast. So if you fancy buying this, I would definitely get over to their website quickly. Um, so again, this is 12 to 18 months and this one was 10 pounds again. So it's a little, um, these are like leggings. They're kind of like a weird, sort of brown colour, but I guess that's what's in fashion at the moment. I've seen a lot of people wearing brown. And then the sweater says Little Man on it, and it's got, um, it's like a stone colour, 
but it's actually quite pinky, so I'm not sure. I might hold it up to him and see whether I'm gonna keep it or not because it's a lot more pink in real life. I mean, listen, I've got nothing against boys wearing pink, but he's quite pale, so I just don't want it to make him look washed out. I know I sound ridiculous right now because he's a baby, but you know, you've got to think about these things. He actually dresses better than me, so he is literally like, I am living my um, fashion sense through him, if you know what I mean. So, sounds ridiculous, but I think we are all the same when we've got kids. But yeah, it's a very sort of pinky stone beige sort of color. Um, so like I said, I'm gonna hold it up to him, see how it looks, and then decide whether I'm gonna keep it or not, because yeah, it's a lot more pinky than it looked on the website. But I do really like it. I don't think it looks that pink on camera, but I just think it's a really cute little set. So yeah, we will try this on him. I think with a pair of high tops and a bobble hat, this will look so cool, and I absolutely love it. Um, but yeah, I just need to check that colour before I decide to keep it. Okay, so we I'll just show you some of the basics that I bought now. He actually could have done with some vests. I don't know why I didn't pick him up in vests. Um, he needs some vests in like nine months because he hasn't really got very, very many. But yeah, um, I picked him up these basic sets. So this pack of two joggers, there's a navy pair and there's a grey pair. Um, so these were seven pounds for two pairs and they've got the cuffed bottoms. They're really, really thick, really good quality. I absolutely love them. Again, these are 12 to 18 months. So he is one in July. So that will take him up till um, Christmas. So this will last him all through like autumn, winter as well. And then to go with it, I picked up a set of three t-shirts. So this was six pounds for three t-shirts. I thought that was so good. And again, you've got a navy one and a gray one, but you've also got a white one there as well. Um, and then you can just have like a little lounge set with like a t-shirt and joggers or the white t-shirt with the gray bottoms, I think will look really nice. So yeah, he's basically got like three tracksuits there for £13, which I thought was amazing. So yeah, you can just mix and match these and it's good just to have like basics in their wardrobe as well. And then while we're on the more sort of basic type outfits, I also picked him up just a plain grey hoodie. He's got a few of these um, similar in smaller sizes that I got him from Primark. So I always like to have at least one of these in his wardrobe. It's just easy to chuck on if it's not too cold outside and we are going out, he can just chuck one of these on. Um, so this was £5 and again it's 12 to 18 months. So he could wear this with like the grey joggers that I got him. So yeah, just a basic grey hoodie. Um, nothing more to say about that really, but it's good, like I said, to have the basics in your baby's wardrobe. Last thing from like the basics that I got for him was a pack of two sleep suits. So you've got a white one with grey clouds on, anything cloud print, I am all over. There's a lot of like, sort of a bit of a cloud theme going on in his nursery. And then you've got a grey one with white stars on. So they are just basic sleep suits and I got those in nine to 12 months because that's the biggest size they had left. So that was six pounds for two of them which I thought was really good value. Three pound per sleep seat, you can't really go wrong. I swear that's even cheaper than Primark, but I can't remember, it's been so long since I've been. It's been like a month and that's a long time for me. So yeah, I'm having Primark withdrawals like so badly right now. But yeah, like I said, he doesn't really have any, um, like many sleep suits or outfits past the nine month mark. So I just picked these up for him and even though he's getting older now, I still absolutely love him in neutral coloured sleepwear. So most of his sleep suits and his vests are just white or grey or yeah, just some sort of neutral colour. I like to keep it simple for his sleepwear. I don't think you can beat a baby um, in a fresh white sleep suit. Next thing I picked up for him, I absolutely love this. So I'm not a massive um, like Mickey Mouse print fan. I think some things in Mickey Mouse print can look a little bit tacky, but then Zara absolutely changed the game with this and they brought out a gorgeous um, like Mickey Mouse range for baby boys and girls. And they've got some gorgeous like oversized sweaters. So unfortunately the ones that I want from Zara are sold out and I can't get them. He's got a blue Mickey Mouse one from H&M, which he hasn't, he doesn't fit into yet, but I love it. Um, but then I saw this in Matalan and it's, I just love it. So I thought with like a pair of black skinny jeans or a pair of black joggers, a little pair of high tops and a bobble hat, how cool would he look? Um, so this was, where's the label on it? This was seven pounds. So I think obviously you're paying like a few pounds more because it's um, Disney branded. Um, but I still think that was 
like it's not unreasonable it's cheaper than Zara anyway so yeah this is absolutely gorgeous again I got this in 12 to 18 months and it's just grey with the Mickey Mouse print all over and yeah I just think he will look so cool in that I love it and then this and the Mickey Mouse one are probably my absolute favourite so I've saved the best my favourite one till last um so this is a gorgeous colour block hoodie and I've actually seen a tracksuit on this guy did that I'm so close to buying I might actually get it on payday next week um that pretty much matches this so if I get that for myself then we can be matching again it's 12 to 18 months so um next autumn winter we can match we've got a lot of matching clothes already I'm actually getting out of control with our matching clothes you know he's a baby he doesn't have a choice he'll probably hate me when he's older but for now he is going to match with me um so this actually had a matching pair of joggers with it as well I might buy them I wasn't really sure about them so if they were this beigey color I probably would have got them but they were actually this brown color and then they had a beige stripe down the side um, and they were seven pounds so the same price as this um so i don't know i just wasn't massively keen on the joggers so i thought he could wear this with a pair of black skinny jeans or a pair of just like beige joggers because i'm going to buy him some separately um so yeah i thought that would look better than the matching joggers i just wasn't overly keen on them they weren't as nice as the hoodie um but yeah so this is it just says superstar on it and then on the back it's that brown colour with the beige hood and I absolutely love this. I think he's going to look so cool in this. And again, this one is selling really fast on the website. So if you want to pick this up, I would suggest like you head over there ASAP because when I looked, it's got that like going fast symbol on it, which it only had on a few things um, and there were like limited sizes left. So definitely head over and pick this up ASAP if you want to buy it. The last thing I picked up for him was this pair of camo trainers. So like I said earlier, I am obsessed with anything camo print on him. I just think he looks so cool in it. And he's got that gorgeous camo onesie that he's been wearing at the moment. Um, so these again are 12 to 18 months. They look absolutely massive. Except after his dad, he's got very big feet. Um, so yeah, I mean, he'll probably fit into these a little bit before he's his first birthday um but these were four pounds and i thought that was so good for a little pair of trainers um so yeah with some of his tracksuits maybe with like these basic tracksuits that i showed you earlier these will look really cool with that i absolutely love them so that is everything i have picked up for him in matalan and um, i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you like this video please do give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button i would be so grateful and i hope to see you guys in the next video bye